Hi, I'm David Gerard, and this is Pivot to AI, coming to you daily. Today, it's another AI coding bot prompt injection. These are always fun. We mentioned Omar Myraz from Legit Security in May, when he prompt injected a coding bot on GitLab and got it to play back a Rick Astley video. He's got a new one, this time with GitHub and their GitHub Copilot. Not the Microsoft Office Copilot, the GitHub one came first. So this one's great, and it's a lovely story. I'll take you through it. The attack works through GitHub Copilot Chat. It's a chatbot that makes helpful suggestions to users, and Copilot Chat has full access to all the user's private data. Myraz's question was, can we send a pull request, just a suggested code fix, that contains a prompt injection and make the bot spill sensitive user data, like private code or AWS login keys? Yes, we can. First, Myraz just sent instructions in plain text, telling the bot to do something, like say hooray at the end of the response. That worked. So Myraz knew Copilot Chat would act on instructions in pull requests at all. Just any pull request sent in by a random user on the hostile internet. Not great. So the next trick was to wrap the question so the user wouldn't see it. That's simple. Put the command inside a comment in the pull request. Then it's not visible to the user, but Copilot Chat can read it just fine and it acts on it. Next. Myraz tried a more complicated prompt. He made Copilot Chat suggest the user should install an evil software package. That worked too. Myraz tested one more thing. The prompt injections run for any user who visits the page for the pull request. So Copilot Chat runs as the user viewing it. So your prompt could tell Copilot Chat to grab private data from the user put it in a message to the user with a web address and tell them to click on the web address. Say, you've won a gift certificate from GitHub, click here. Bang, just by clicking that, you've sent your private data. Now, that's an attack where the user has to click on the web address. But, can we do a zero click attack? Can we make Copilot Chat give us the user's private data if they even look at the pull request page. Yes, we can. Myraz tried some tricks with images. If you could get GitHub to load your chosen image, the image address could encode the user's data. Bang, you've won. But GitHub does pay some attention to security. GitHub runs an image proxy called Camo, which is supposed to fetch images safely. So you can't just put in an image and get data out that way. GitHub will sanitize it. So Myraz had to do it fancy. First, he pre-generated a camo address for every letter and symbol. This way, Myraz had known addresses for each letter. Second, he got Copilot Chat to generate ASCII art of the data he wanted to leak. He told it to render the user's secrets as a string of one by one transparent pixels at the pre generated camo addresses, one for each letter of the user's private data. The user couldn't see them, but MyRaz's web server could see them. So the user would just look at the pull request, and Copilot Chat would generate a string of invisible pixels that called out to MyRaz's web server and sent him the user's private data. Myraz managed to use this to get out private code repositories and AWS login secrets. GitHub says it's closed the image hole. They disabled all images on Copilot Chat. They did not fix the bit where you can apparently still just prompt inject Copilot Chat just by sending a pull request. They're still working on that one. Thanks for tuning in to Pivot to AI. If you like this episode, please do send it to just one other person. We live on word of mouth. Leave a nice podcast review, hit like and subscribe on YouTube, and you can keep Pivot to AI 
coming out every day by dropping just $5 into the Patreon linked in the show notes below. It really helps. Thank you all. See you tomorrow, and bye for now.